What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix the black screen in OBS. Now I've been having this problem myself for the past couple of days, and believe it or not it's actually a very very simple fix. Now I've already fixed it, but I'm going to be showing you the method I used in order to get it fixed. Now if this method doesn't work for you, I have made another video in the past showing a different technique, so I will also link that in the description so you can give that a go as well. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create... So the first thing you need to do, head over to your desktop, right click and select NVIDIA Control Panel. So once you're on here, what you want to do is select Manage 3D Settings, then from here you want to select Program Settings. Once you're here and it is loaded, what you want to do is select OBS. Bear in mind you may not see OBS here straight away. Don't worry, all you need to do is select Add. And then from here, OBS 64 should appear. If not, you just simply select Browse. Then to find it, of course, wherever you usually save it, usually it's in Program Files. Usually it's in Program Files x86. Scroll down till you see OBS, which is right here, OBS Studio. From here, all you need to do is select Bin and then 64 bit and as you can see OBS 64 so just double click that when it's added what you want to do where it says select preferred graphics processor for this program by default it should be on use global setting which is auto however what you want to do is change that to integrated graphics once you've done that select apply at the bottom right then restart your OBS and it should work. Like I said, I've just done this myself literally five minutes before recording this video. It worked for me. I know others will have this problem, hence why I am making this video. Now, if this doesn't work for you, I have made another method in the past how to fix the black screen. That may or may not work for you, so definitely give it a try if your screen still doesn't appear.